Thumbs. As you can probably see, both in the thumbnail and the title of this video, the boy has arrived. Uh, I'm very welcome here to help us unbox and provide more support just in case things don't go right and he's starting to fall over. Please don't do that. I don't want you hurting yourself. No. I don't have any knives or anything, so I just use my keys. Get right into it. I'm worried this is gonna make Teddy Max and fall over. Don't. Oh. Oof, you know, you just lay down there. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna open this thing because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So now I've opened the box, we can get started into opening this bad boy. Aw. Nice little nut from the cellar. That's always a good way to start off. Look at that boy. He's covered in paper. This is, I think, the shipping information. Yes, you go over there. You don't need to go there. What is it with sellers and never using bubble wrap? It's always Teddy Ruxpin sellers too. When I got this boy and Grubby, he didn't. He came in a box with just bags in it. I guess. Is it just some sort of unspoken rule in the Teddy Ruxpin selling community to not use bloody bubble wrap? I, d I doubt it's very expensive. And you could always save it from like packages you get, you know? That's what I do, so then if I have to sell, if I have to send out anything fragile, I don't have to worry about it damaging in the post. And since his face is so squished up against the side of the box, and the box is considerably dented, I'm quite I'm quite worried. But let's push on and open this bad boy up. So, there we go. Literally, all he has protecting him is this. I just knocked out on my phone. Okay, cool. I dropped my camera, so it's gonna be a different angle now. Anyway, let's continue with the boy. Oh my god, he's soft. He's a hefty boy. He's a hefty boy. He's a hefty boy. Look at him. I gotta, I gotta do this for a friend of mine. Uh, oh, squishy nose. It's, it's a genuine boy. He's got a squish nose. Oh, that was a click. But boo yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that glorious metal pet reader. I'm scared of this. There are so many exposed pieces that I don't know what the heck is going on with any of this. Is this scratched almost? I'm gonna close that. And let's load this bad boy up with some batteries. Perfectly clean. Oh, oh, oh! Perfectly clean. That, oh. Well, this is just very helpful, isn't it? I'm just gonna load this guy up with some batteries that I took from this bad boy. And we're going to cross our fingers and hope he works. Let's just make sure he's turned off first. His power switch feels normal. If I'm going to be completely honest though, I was expecting the nose to have a bit more squish in it because you know who you are, by the way. I know you're going to be watching this and you know who- oh, my battery's at 15%, but you know who you are and you're just, you always talk about squishing the teddy nose. Don't eat the nose, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> and it was kind of underwhelming, to be honest. It wasn't as squishy as I expected, if I'm being completely honest. Did I say that already? I don't know. I just woke up. I just woke up, because I got a phone call from someone. Okay, this battery is not going inside. Oh, there it is. It just needs a bit of wiggling. Bum, 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 bum. Batteries go into the boy. This plastic's kind of cracked on some of these edges, which makes me worry if he's been opened. But look, oh, oh, oh. So this wasn't opening for a second, and I realized this bit's loose. Um, let me let me get just a. This is going to be really difficult because I'm filming the landscape. This is 
loose and it was preventing me because it was slightly up and I couldn't open it, see? I think my friend had the same problem with their... Oh, stop it! There we go. I'm just going to put that back there. I should never move the camera because then it ruins the shot because then I have to do this and fiddle with it because my kickstand for my phone is really stupid. Anyway. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's a... That's a cupboard smell. This boy smells like sweet berries and this guy just smells like a fucking musty attic. But then again, that's kind of like the standalone smell. That's not the right word, but uh, whatever. Okay. There's no sticker on it telling me which way to put the tape. I'm so confused. Not really, but let's do this thing. Let's, let's. I'm scared, you guys. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm, I'm worried he's not going to work. He's a Nightcore boy! Look at him! Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? I really enjoy talking to people. I would like you to meet some of my other friends, too. We're going to have lots of good times together. Now, listen to this sound. That sound reminds you to open the book to page one. Each time you hear that sound again, you turn a page, okay? There's a picture of Grubby. He's so fast. He's been a good friend of mine for a long time. Say hello to our new friend, Grubby. Oh, hi there. How are you, hmm? Remember, turn the page. Hey, Grubby, do you remember this I'm song? I'm just so happy I've got a working boy now. Your friend, your friend is what I'd like to be. Your friend, your friend. I like you, do you like me? Anyway, I'm happy about this, as you can probably tell, because I was for a second worried that he wasn't going to work, but he does, and I love him, and he, I, will, I, will, I will cherish him forever. He's, oh my god, his hair is soft as hell. His face is soft. I don't think he wants me to do that, but his face is soft. He's a good boy, and I love him. Well, um, there's nothing else really to report about. It's the boy. He's here. He took five days to arrive. I was getting worried, but he works. He's a good boy, and he's got a squishy nose. Although it's a bit firm, but he's got a squishy nose nonetheless. And I love him, and I love him. Oh, whoa. That's a really loose lower jaw. Like, I'm not even giving it any, like... Is that normal? Like... I know my teddy has a bit of a loose jaw, but not as loose as this. Like, I'm not even giving that any effort. But I shouldn't probably play with that because I might make it start working. Let me just... Let me just try Also, I like this, um, I like this Teddy's Switch a lot more, because, let me just put you down there, big baby boy. He's looking down, it's like he's, hold on, it's like, he's looking down. Are you, are you sad boy? Are you sad baby boy? I'm gonna make you the happiest bear in the world, don't worry. Um, anyway, I keep getting distracted, as per me, I guess. I do that a lot. So... I'm gonna have to take your clothes off. Um, <sighs> boom, boom, boom. I don't know if it's like a generational thing where the original Teddy Ruxpin has just less of like a stiff thing, but you see, it's like really hard to push it. But with that one, it's just like 
you know? I'm probably making a fool of myself. I should probably end the video now before I start being a silly. So as I was um, fiddling with him, when I, when I stopped the recording, his mouth stopped moving, but look, very, very loose. Very, extremely loose. That one, it's like a grinding noise. I don't know if that was picked up by the uh, camera. But it's very, very, very grindy. The eyes, uh, I'm not touching the eyes, uh, uh, they're a lot mustard. They're a lot more like second gen. I don't know if this is a generational thing. Also, I noticed that, uh, I don't know if this is going to focus, but he's got ballpoint pen in his mouth. Like, someone shoved a pen into his gob. Hold on. Stop recording. Ah. Anyway, it won't focus because, yeah. There's ballpoint pen in his mouth. It's focusing on my face. I don't want it to do that. But yes, you can see there. I'll probably highlight that in editing because... But it's the boy. He's here and he is working. He's just a bit loose. That sounds weird, but... Anyway. It won't focus on my freaking... There we go. Focus on the boy. On the... Boy, yes. So anyway, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe. Bye.